Well hello YouTube, this is a little bit of a different video but this is still a mod installation guide where it's a sort of a general rough guide but I will do more such guides for specific mods if they have certain requirements. This is for how I essentially get my Tiberium Wars mods to work. On my channel I played stuff like Tiberium Secrets, Tiberium Essence, Kane's Wrath, for, Kane's Wrath for Loaded. At the moment I'm currently, although no videos have been released as of yet, playing a Crossfire mod and I'll show you how I get all this working. Firstly, you want to go into something like your documents and you want to find your main Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars folder. I do it just for ease of access. You want to make a copy of it just in case things do go wrong. So just copy your main folder here. This will be in your documents. And you want to go in Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. Here you have, should have, you might possibly just have screenshots and replays. But what you want to do is if you haven't already got it, is create a folder just called mods. You might already have a mod folder there. For example, at the moment we've got Tiberian Secrets and the Crossfire Baits are here. So these are going to be the two guinea pigs for this experiment. And also what you want to do is, because you cannot manually select and launch these mods, or at least I, we'll, we'll double check it, but I don't believe you can anyway. Let's just go, duh, 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 mods, Crossfire Beta. No, there's no like launcher file there, and there's nothing, no launcher file in top here in secret so what you need to do is go to steam for example if this is where you have it installed and you want properties you want to go on properties and you want to go set launch options and you want to put a little like middle dash or hyphen whatever the fuck you want to call it middle dash so that's what i call it and you want ui there you just ui and you want to okay that and make sure that's set to it what this will do is when i actually go play command and conquer 3 tiberian wars play game it's bring up this interface. With this interface, you can now access a thing called the game browser. This will be where you can look at saved replays and whatnot. I want to watch them. Or you can go on a mod. For example, I've been playing Crossfire mod. But we're going to see if it just lets me load up Tiberium Secrets as well. So I'll load that, launch that we will. Whether this works remains to be seen, but it should definitely work. I want to see how many mods I can actually have in this folder at one point. If I can have like Tiberium Essence and everything just stored there so I can switch them out whenever I want. That would be an interesting thing to do. This might take a second to load because at the moment I've got my video editing software sorted ex exporting a video so it will take a little bit longer. This just says Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars but because the Tiberium Secrets mod is very much still under development it has in fact actually worked because I've got a faction known as ASI here so that is working. Let's come out of this. And now we're going to just wait for it to chill. Come on, Commander Conquer 3, sort yourself out. It's all said you're running, you're not, you're clearly not. Oh, it's still got a gang browser up, that's fine. Gang browser mods crossfire, launch that. Give it a second to load. promising so far and we're going to go skirmish and this is in fact has worked because on the base game you just have ggi nod on the screen but on this you have another faction known as series so the crossfire mod has in fact been installed and that's essentially how i get my command and conquer free type in wars mods to play there might be a few others that i cover might have certain uh conditions or parameters that need a little bit more tuning up when i do my guide or whatnot this is generally how I get all mine working. If you want to see me make other mods for specific mods or for certain games or whatnot, please just feel free to contact me, either on YouTube or through Discord. And if you want to, well, if you want to get hold of me at Discord, you do need to donate some mud muns on Patreon, well, that's fine. I'm probably actually leaning towards, I'm just going to make Discord open for people to contact me if they want to get hold of me anyway. And sort out my other rewards and tiers down the line. But anyways... I hope this mod you found helpful, or this mod install guide you found extremely helpful. If you want to help the channel, feel free to check me out on YouTube. If you want to, and check, oh, check me out on YouTube, fuck's sake, you can tell what sort of day I'm having. Check me out on Patreon and support the channel. If you want to like the video, that I'd appreciate it, or subscribe, share it, or just show it to any of your mates if they want to get any mods working, that'd be handy. And I will see you in the next video.